Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be trying some new hair dye from Manic Panic. I saw they released these shortly after I used Overtone Brown on my hair and I wish I would have used these instead. Obviously they weren't released yet when I bought my brown Overtone. So Manic Panic released this color line called Supernatural and there are five different shades and I got sent a couple of them and then I purchased the rest of them off of their website so that way I could make this video, swatch them, show them to you, and we're gonna see if they're easy to remove. I'm gonna use some of my Schwarzkopf color remover on half of the swatches to see if they come out easily or if it does stain the hair as badly as the overtone does. I love Manic Panic. I have high hopes for this color. I'm very hopeful that it will come out of the hair easy. So if I ever wanna dye my hair brown or a natural color again, I will try Manic Panic. As I run through each shade, I'll put the pictures from Manic Panic's website on screen so you guys can get a good idea of the tones and what they look like on different levels. So I'm just gonna run through each shade and tell you the description that is on Manic Panic's website. So the first shade we have is Tiger's Eye and it is described as a rich copper toned hair dye with warm red undertones. Bold and fiery auburn hair is subtle and strong. Have natural red hair, but just want a vivid boost to your color, we got you covered. So that's what Tiger's Eye is described as. So as you can see, it does have a lot of warm undertones to it. And when I'm looking at it in the jar, it just looks like a beautiful copper color. So that's the first color called Tiger's Eye. So the next shade we have is Cobra, and this is described as a light cocoa brown hair dye with chestnut undertones. And it says for best results used on pre-lightened hair. So here is what the inside of the container looks like. This looks so pretty. And this is one of the shades I would have purchased if I was going to dye my hair brown. It just looks so rich and beautiful. It still has a lot of those warm undertones. The third shade we have here is called Cattail. And this is described as a mid-toned chocolate brown hair dye. It has rich, warm undertones, so it can do well on most blonde levels, but for your best results, use it on pre-lightened hair. When I look at the color, I see a lot of red, warm undertones in this. I can't wait to swatch these and see how they like turn out on blonde hair. The fourth shade is called Bat Out of Hell, and it is described as a dark espresso brown hair dye with warm undertones. This shade is here to stand out and be taken seriously for best results use on pre-lined hair or add to natural light brown hair for added pigment and intensity. This is the first shade that has been recommended or okayed to use on natural brown hair. All the other colors were recommended to use on pre-lightened blonde hair. The last shade I have for you guys is called Blue Panther and this is described as a rich deep violet blue hair dye with cool blue slash purple undertones. For best results, use this dark velvety shade on pre-lightened hair. Please note that since Blue Panther is so pigmented, it should work well on most hair levels, but due to its blue undertone, it can clash with very orangey base tones on virgin unbleached hair. So this is the first color we have in the Supernatural line that has a cool undertone to it. All the other ones have those warmer undertones. This one is a blue, violet, black, and it is very, very strong with the blue, violet undertones. I can clearly see it. I'm gonna set up a second camera so that way you guys can see me swatching the colors on my desk. Okay, so here are our swatches. They are all the same, um, like level nine, 10 blonde. So here's what Tiger's Eye looks like. You can see how coppery it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in straight from the container. I love the consistency of Manic Panic. Makes it so easy to saturate the hair. So this is actually quite a bit lighter than even I thought it would be. This looks kind of like a level eight. I'm gonna use just a little bit more to make sure everything is coated. Here is the shade Cobra. You can see all of those really warm undertones in there. And again, I am just gonna go straight into the container and apply that directly on the strand here. I tried to organize the dyes in lightest to darkest according to like what I saw online with the swatches. So I'm trying to work with the lightest color and then going to the darkest. So hopefully I've achieved that. So far I love this Cobra color. It looks exactly how they described it, like a chestnut brown. It's not too warm. This is one of the colors that I would use on myself. So the third color is K 
cattail. Here's what it looks like up close. You can see how rich in all of those warm red undertones in there. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, this looks beautiful too. Surprisingly, it's not as warm as what I thought it would be. I think if I were to use these on myself, I would probably use these two colors mixed. This one seems like it's even more neutral than this one. I really hope these come out of the hair evenly and very easy because it would be nice to have a brown shade that you can play with for a while, but you can take it out easily whenever you wanna go back to your other hair color. Fourth shade is Bad Outta Hell. This is that really dark espresso brown. Okay, here is what it looks like. You can see the depth, it is so dark, but you can see those really, really warm undertones in there. Let's go ahead. Ooh, yes, this is definitely definitely the darkest shade we've tried so far. And the last shade we are doing is Blue Panther. Here is what it looks like. You can see those violet and blue undertones. Ooh, so pretty. I'm excited to try this shade. Okay, so here are all five swatches. Here we have the Tiger's Eye, Cobra, Cattail, Bat Out of Hell, and Blue Panther. I'm also gonna get a close up on the containers. You can really see the undertones. This one right here is Tiger's Eye, and here's what the swatch looks like. This one right here is Cobra, and there's what the swatch looks like. This one right here is Cattail, and here's what the swatch looks like. Here is Bat Outta Hell, and there's what the swatch looks like. And the last shade is Blue Panther, and there is what the last swatch looks like. All right, the instructions say to process for 30 minutes and then rinse using cool water. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer, let these process, and I will be back once I have rinsed out the dye to show you the finish colors. And then we're gonna go ahead and do color remover on half of the strand to see how easily they remove. All right, we are back 30 minutes later. I just blow dried the swatches and I am amazed. They are absolutely stunning. They are prettier than I thought they would be. They are just gorgeous. Let me show you all of them. I just kept them in the order so that way I made sure not to get them confused. They are so, so pretty. My favorite shades are Bat Outta Hell and Cattail. So I'm just gonna put them on this black palette one at a time so you guys can like really see the true tones. So this first one right here is the Tiger's Eye, which is a copper color. It is so, so beautiful. I love it. I think it definitely delivered what it said it would. The second one right here is Cobra. It is so pretty. It's just a little bit deeper and not as copper. The third one right here is Cattail. Again, just darker and a little bit less red. Then the fourth swatch right here is my favorite. It's called Bat Outta Hell. It is such a beautiful, like, oh, brown color. This is supposed to be espresso, but I think it's a little bit lighter than like an espresso shade would be. And then obviously the last one here on the end is the Blue Panther. Let me go ahead and get a better camera angle for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my vlogging camera, show you what the tones look like on that camera. And then I mixed up some color remover so we can see if these stain the hair or if they are easy to remove. So I just have some Schwarzkopf color remover mixed up here with, and this is 20 volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the hair and vlog that for you guys. Okay, so here are the swatches. What the camera's picking up is pretty much exactly what I'm seeing with my eyes. So here are the true tones. This is such a beautiful copper shade. And you can see this is not as copper. It's, um, it still has a lot of warmth to it, but it's a little bit more of a neutral shade. And then again, right here, this one is picking up a little bit more warm on camera than it is in person, but it's so, so pretty. Here is the espresso darker color. So gorgeous. I love the tones in this. It's warm, but it's not too warm. Like it's so pretty. And then here on the end, you can see one gray hair right there that's in here, but this is the Blue Panther. You can really see those violet and blue undertones. So here are what the swatches look like. Again, my favorite are these two, but they're so pretty. And this is the true tones of them in person. All right, so I'm just applying some color remover on the ends of all these swatches. 
So I'm just gonna coat these really, really well with the Schwarzkopf color remover. Now that I have the color remover on all the swatches, I'm gonna let this process 20 to 30 minutes shampoo and I will be back to show you the finished product. Hoping, hoping, hoping that these are easy to remove because these shades are gorgeous and I would definitely try these on my own hair as long as they're easy to remove. So I'll be back once I wash these out. All right, I am back and the results are pretty good, pretty decent, let me show you. Okay, here they are. I will get a close up on each one for you. You can see the first three colors came out pretty good. Um, it's just these last two colors that stained the hair really bad. So this first one went right back to a white blonde. The second one also went right back to a white blonde. The third one was kind of mixed. So I think it would have went back to a white blonde, but there's just a little bit of like purple in there too. But for the most part, it removed pretty well. Then we get into the last two shades, which are the darker ones. This one um, didn't come out all the way. It's like purple on the ends. And then the Blue Panther also did not come out very well. It's like a bluish gray color situation going on there. They come out of the hair pretty well. I would not recommend using these last two colors on your hair just because they seem to be pretty stuck in there and um, they both turned an odd color when trying to remove them with some type of bleach based color remover. These first three came out really well though. Like I'm very impressed. And these three are such beautiful natural tones. When I did my hair with overtone brown, the only thing that removed that color was a color oops. So I'm sure you would probably have similar results if I used color oops on these colors, they would probably come out a little bit better and easier. So just keep that in mind. If you ever do wanna remove a semi-permanent natural tone brown, I would definitely recommend doing color oops before just jumping straight to bleach because in my experience, color oops has been the only thing to remove brown toned semi-permanent hair colors. I'm pretty impressed with the results and I might use like these two colors on my hair this summer if I'm getting sick of my grow out or I might use those lighter colors to just blend out my natural regrowth. Um, I have all of them now, so if I wanna use them, I can. They are a lot easier to work with than overtone. They saturate the hair a lot easier. They have a better color variety. I also like these colors and the way they performed a lot better than the overtone colors. So if you are looking for a semi-permanent natural brown color, I would definitely recommend the Manic Panic over the overtone. These just, the undertones are better. The color selection is better. I just like the products better than the overtone. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.